Hello, I'm Dr. Carl Chen from Chang'an Memorial Hospital. Today I'm going to demonstrate to you how caudal epidural injection can be performed using ultrasound guidance. When we perform this technique, we place the ultrasound probe on the transverse plane first to identify the sacral hiatus. Under the transverse plane, you can see the base of the sacrum, the sacral cosseous ligament lying on top of the base, and the opening of the sacral hiatus in between. You can also observe the two sacral cornea lying bilaterally. When you can see these structures on the ultrasound transverse plane, you can then rotate the ultrasound probe 90 degrees to obtain the longitudinal view. Okay? And it's under the longitudinal view in which the caudal epidural injection can be performed. I will demonstrate all this to you later on. Thank you. We will now start our caudal epidural injection using ultrasound guidance. The patient is placed under the prone position. Pillows or additional towels can be placed underneath to increase the pelvic tilt. As I mentioned before, first of all, the probe of the ultrasound should be placed under the transverse plan to obtain the transverse view of the sacral hiatus. When you obtain the transverse view of the sacral hiatus, you then rotate your probe 90 degrees like this to obtain the longitudinal view of the sacral hiatus. It is under this longitudinal view in which injection can be performed. Thank you. This is the transverse plan ultrasound image of the sacral hiatus. As you can see here, this is the base of the sacral bone. This transverse structure here, that is the sacral cosseous ligament. And lying in between these two structures is the sacral hiatus, or the opening to the sacral canal. And these two hyperechoic structures over here they are the sacral cornea lying bilaterally in regards to the sacral hiatus. Thank you. After you identify the precise location of the sacral hiatus, you then rotate your ultrasound probe 90 degrees the, to obtain the longitudinal plane ultrasound image of the sacral hiatus. This is the longitudinal plane ultrasound image of the sacral hiatus. As you can see over here, on the longitudinal view, this is the base of the sacral bone. The structure here is the sacral cosseous ligament. Okay? And here is the sacral hiatus or the opening into the sacral canal. And it is under this longitudinal ultrasound image in which the caudal epidural injection will be performed. The needle will come in in this direction like this. So first of all, the needle will pierce through the sacral cosseous ligament and then into the sacral canal via the sacral hiatus. We will now begin the caudal epidural injection using ultrasound guidance. As you can see here, this is the longitudinal view of the sacral hiatus. We will now insert the injection needle. Please watch. The 
needle will now pierce through this sacral constitutive ligament. Okay, so you can see here, the needle is now in inserted through the sacral cosseous ligament and into the sacral hiatus and now the injection will be pushed or injected into the sacral canal.